Hey friends, Sleepy here, and welcome to another episode in my weekly playlist series. We've made it again to another Friday, and that means it's time for me to share with you the games I have been playing during the week. I'll give you guys my thoughts and opinions on these titles, but I'd like to hear about the games you guys are playing as well, because that gives me great ideas, and you guys have given me wonderful ideas of games to play from here and what you guys are uh, playing so i really appreciate when you guys share that with me i also appreciate anybody that recommends any games to me because you guys have been recommending some really good games the past uh, few months and i've got some great games to check out and i do have a list growing on my uh, website of games to check out from your guys' recommendations so keep those coming i really appreciate it i've got two games to share with you guys uh this week one for switch and for uh, ps4 I'm actually just ending my vacation here. I was off for eight days. It was wonderful being away from work and able to relax a lot. I did not get to play as many games as I wanted to as I did a lot of sleeping in this vacation and just uh, resting up. I also had, um, had to get another thing fixed on our uh, car and that kind of just deflated our whole wanted to do stuff because I wasn't sure how expensive the repair was going to be. And so I just wasn't kind of in the mood to do a whole lot of stuff. So I just was kind of resting and watching TV and stuff. But I did play uh, two of these games and I've been continuing my work on on uh, this. First one I'm going to share with you is one I've been working on for like a month now. And I've just been obsessed with wanting to play it because I'm just having a blast with it. And that is Yakuza 0 for PlayStation 4. This is an awesome game. Highly recommend the Yakuza series to you guys. If you got a PlayStation 4, you definitely should pick up the uh, Yakuza series and definitely start with Yakuza 0 because this is actually a prequel to the original Yakuza series, which was on PlayStation 2. You had Yakuza 1 and 2, and then they did re-remake them and re-release them on PS4 as Yakuza Kiwami and Yakuza Kiwami 2. But I definitely would suggest checking out Yakuza 0 because you get to play as um, two main characters in this. You get to play as uh, Kazuma Kiru and Goro Majima. And you get to see how they were in the past when they were in their 20s and early Yakuza before they became the legends they are later in the series. So it's really cool. I'm currently playing as Goro Majima. I'm on Chapter 4 now. And I've been having an absolute blast. I really like Kiro as he's my favorite. But, you know, as I've been playing with Goro Majima more, you know, I'm really starting to like uh, his character a lot more. Uh, especially his fighting style in this game. Just like, I'm really enjoying the uh, character. So I'm glad that you have, you're have you able to play as both uh, characters. Uh, this is a heavily uh, story-focused game. But there are a lot of, uh, there's a lot of action and combat and stuff in the game as well. A lot of wonderful uh, cutscenes. There's in-game cutscenes, but then there's also um, regular like uh, cutscenes that you can tell where the animation's a lot done a lot better and stuff. And most of those are all going to be voice act, but it's all in Japanese, so it's English subtitle. And I really appreciate that because it keeps it authentic with the Japanese language. I don't really like a whole lot of um, English dubbed Japanese uh, games just because it just doesn't fit really well with people speaking English. It just kind of looks weird. So I really do appreciate that they uh, kept it authentic with using the Japanese uh, voice actors for it. So that was awesome when they localized it here for the um, U.S. Wonderful game. So this takes place in 1988. I'll give you guys a little recap. I've been telling you guys about um, Kazuma Kiro. He's a junior Yakuza who collects debts. But when a debtor turns up dead, the family's business is threatened. And Kiro finds himself on the wrong end of a bad deal. And then you get when he plays Goro Majima. He's been exiled to Osaka for disobeying orders, now working as a manager of the Club Grand. He yearns to return home and gets his chance when a hit is put on the table. So it's really cool. So you have uh, two different cities to explore for each uh, character has their own city that they go around. And I really like that this game has a main story to go through, but you also have side quests that you can do, which is great. And one of the things I really love is that there's no missable quests. You know, there are some RPG games and adventure games you play that if you progress to a certain point, you lose access to those side missions. This game, however, you can play all of the side missions after you beat the main story. You can go back and beat any of them at any time. And as you progress through the game's different chapters, which I believe there are 17 of them, more and more side missions will open up. And so what I like to do is, you know, do all the side missions, then I progress the story, and then I move on to do more side missions and stuff. And it's been really fun. There's a lot of great uh, mini games to play in this game, where you have actual arcade games. So you can play uh, Space Harrier, you can play OutRun. Um, 
I know there was one other Sega arcade game. I can't think of the name of it now that you can play. Uh, there's pool, there's darts, there's bowling, there's mahjong tiles. You can play uh, shoji, which is the uh, Japanese chess. Uh, it's batting cages. It's really cool. There's just a whole pack with a whole bunch of fun stuff. So if you guys have uh, played Shenmue before, you know, it's a similar concept to where you have all those side things to do. Now, I know there's uh, some people that just aren't really into these kind of games and these quirky <laughs> um side stuff to do in the game which is not required for you to do it but it's just something i have find uh fun to play like especially like the bowling and stuff and pool i was playing uh just like a few minutes ago i was playing pool for a while it was just really fun uh playing that and getting lost in the mini games uh they also have ufo catchers which are claw machines and i, I love playing those stupid things and collecting all these different things you can collect um each character starts out with only one fighting style, but as you progress through the story, you actually unlock a total of three, plus you actually can use uh, weapons. And one of the cool things I found is this is this double-bladed sided this double uh, bladed energy weapon, which is literally like a lightsaber uh, ripoff, but it's just cool. Um, there's also guns in the game, which I finally found a merchant that sells guns, and I've been able to buy handguns and shotguns, and those do crazy amount of damage to uh, enemies. And one of the side missions... Or there's these that I was giving you guys a little tip here for playing it is there's these big guys that run around that are called Mr. Shakedown and they try to steal all your money. But if you beat them, you can take all their money. And one tip to beat them is if you have a bunch of shotguns on you, you know, you can just uh, dodge them and then shoot them and shoot them and keep dodging around until you take all their health. And every time you encounter them, they get stronger and start to have more health bars and more health bars. But if you keep using that uh, trick, you can earn up a, a ton of money. And I have something like 4 billion yen now, thanks to those um, Mr. Shakedown guys. I've been running around the city searching for them, and then I've been using that. I've been maxing out all my styles. I actually have so much money now that I have nothing to spend it on until I unlock more uh, perks for my fighting styles, because you have to become a master in them. And so as you progress the story, you can upgrade your character more. So that's something I really love about this game, is you know that you can upgrade your character and it really pays to uh, upgrade because as you progress through the story of course you know the characters get that you fight get tougher and the battles get longer and stuff and enemies do more damage and so you definitely want to level up because the game it can be very challenging at the beginning another thing too that's cool is there's shops around where you can buy um health items you can also eat at restaurants to replenish health and you can carry items with you and i highly recommend you carry at least have your inventory with energy drinks when you're going to go into like main story missions because you may go through several battles before you can get to a save point. And if you die, you have to start over that area and do it all over again. So definitely recommend having those health potion drinks on you because you can heal up in the middle of battle and that can really come in handy. Really fun game though. I definitely think you guys should check out Yakuza 0. This is one of those games if you do everything which I'm doing which has a progression on there. Where you meet random characters, you play mini games, you unlock stuff, you um, could easily get 150 hours to 100% everything, and that's what I've been working on. And I think this is like my fourth week now playing Yakuza Zero, and I thought I was gonna put it down for a little while to jump into something else, but it just keeps—it's just really been keeping my attention. Like I just love it, and I'm glad that I decided to play the game. And I actually started playing this series because I heard a couple of you guys talking about how you enjoyed it, whether you. I know some of you have already beat like Yakuza 1, 2, and 3 and you're on 4 or you're towards the end of the series or you know some of you are towards the beginning but you, well, quite a few people have already beat uh, Yakuza 0 and it just made me want to go through and beat it. So thank you guys so much for letting me know about uh, you guys playing the Yakuza series because it's just piqued my interest in it and I hadn't played them since the PS2 days. You know, just been forever so love this series and I'm having a blast with so definitely check out Yakuza 0. And the other game we've been playing for on Nintendo Switch is my second week. And I was hoping to beat it here on vacation. I just didn't have enough time. So hopefully by next week I should have it beat because I am about halfway through the story now. And that is um, the Metro Redux Collection, but I'm playing Metro Last Light because I already beat Metro 2033 on the uh, Switch. Really love this game. One of my absolute favorite uh, trilogies. First person shooter. It's set in a post-apocalyptic world. Uh, Russia, America, and other countries were all in a global war fighting each other with um, nuclear weapons and you're in Moscow and it got bombed and so 40,000 people fled to the metro stations and were living there and then this game takes place 20 years after and you play as a character Artyom who's in his early 20s and he goes out in 
to the world of Metro and there's, you know, all kinds of different um, enemies to fight, which there's humans, but there's also these uh, people called Dark Ones and there's also mutated creatures and stuff, all kinds of crazy different ones, Watchmen, there's demon guys, there's librarian people, it's just a crazy amount of different creatures you have to fight. But it's a really, really enjoyable game. You can also play this is like a stealth mode, like 100% stealth, which is what I like to play them as because it can be really challenging. you got to really use your environment to your advantage with this lighting and stuff. So sometimes you'll see um, light bulbs that you can unscrew or sometimes you might want to shoot them with your gun. You might see a lantern where you can turn off. And if you're to, and another thing I like is like if you were to shoot the lantern, instead of going to turn it off, you know, it's going to create a fire, which then can attract enemies' attention and stuff. And enemies can see you if you're in the uh, light, and you actually have a, on your character has a watch that he wears, and it has a little blue light. And if the blue light is lit up, it means that uh, you're visible in light. And so you want to get into the darkness if you're sneaking. Of course, if you're going to go through guns blazing, you don't need to worry about which you can do and play the game that way if you want to. But I've always enjoyed playing this game as a stealth way to save ammo because the game... Is definitely um, not easy if you play it on the harder difficulty setting because it makes it have a lot less ammo, a lot less healing items, and can make the game really tough with uh, enemies. And then guns can also jam because there's a variety of uh, weapons. And the best weapons are obviously the ones that are made pre-war weapons, which are really nice weapons where the ones that they made after the war are kind of like put together weapons and like there's uh the one called the bastard gun it kind of jams it's like a little machine gun you can see the ammo's like put in a clip and it's not very done really well you know it's real cheap like metal and stuff and so obviously you know you're gonna have performance issues with those kind of uh, weapons but it's just really cool to have the unique different weapons so you've got your handguns you've got shotguns you've got a minigun, you've got uh, rifles, that you can turn into sniper rifles, there's all kinds of different attachments you can get. You can get night vision uh, scopes for them, you can get um, like two times scopes, you can zoom in further. You can get silencers to put on weapons so enemies don't hear it, which I love putting that on a, a pistol and use that to shoot out lights and stuff. You can also put it on machine guns, uh, shotguns, you can make them longer. You have double barrel shotguns, they also have one where you can have like um, five round shotguns. And so as you progress through the game, you know, you'll get different weapons. There's different weapons thrown throughout the world. Uh, you'll find them on bodies and stuff. When you guys go to the uh, surface, which I really like, is really cool, is it's irradiated. So because of it, you know, you can't breathe out there. So you have to have a mask on with filters. However, you know, you only have so much time on the filter. And it'll actually keep track of how long you are. And if you run out of time, your character will start uh, dying. Now, there is a trick you can do, which I had to do... <laughs> Um, the one time here when I ran out of filters is you take your mask off and then you let him, he's like, uh, uh, and then right before you're about to die, then you put your mask back on and you get a few more seconds there and you can do that and you actually can like, you can run through an area doing that to get you somewhere. And I had to use that trick one time playing, um, Metro 2033 towards the end because I was, wasn't paying attention to my filters was exploring too much and then I didn't uh, get enough and I didn't want to have to start the whole chapter over and so I tried that trick that somebody recommended and it worked out really well fantastic story definitely worth checking out I recommend you going through Metro 2033 first then go through Metro Last Light and then there is a third one Metro Exodus which will complete the whole trilogy wonderful games the atmosphere in this game is really dark and eerie there's some ghost-like effects sometimes that your character will encounter or you'll see ghosts of the past type of things like you're in a plane and suddenly you see the bodies came to life and you can hear people screaming and up and like upset and it's just really uh eerie at times but really cool the music is wonderful the atmosphere just really draws you in with the ambient sounds and the uh, music and stuff just really will draw you into the world and i highly recommend you play this with the headphones like I, I i like to play them on my switch in portable mode you know i have no need to hook it up to the tv because i've already played my xbox one and xbox 360 version on the big tv so i like playing it in portable mode with headphones on and it really like has that surround sound and really draws you into the world wonderful game i highly recommend if you guys have never played the metro series you gotta try it out you can get them on playstation 3 you can get them xbox 360 you can get them xbox one you can get them on ps4 you can get them on the pc and you can get it on the nintendo switch 
wonderful games that I think you guys should check. I'm loving it on the uh, Switch. Now, of course, you know the graphics aren't going to be as good as your Xbox One X or playing on PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X, but it still looks really good, especially in a portable mode. You know, I've had a lot of uh, fun uh, playing it. And it's just an overall really good game I think you guys should check out. So definitely check out Metro Last Light and the Metro Redux uh, collection. We'll do our quick little recap here like we do each week. You know, I talked about I'm continuing my journey on Yakuza 0. This is one of those games that's going to take me a long time to uh, play and beat. And I've just been having a lot of fun with it. It's a great gateway to start the Yakuza series. I recommend starting the Yakuza 0 because you have Yakuza 1 through 6. Plus you have that Yakuza Like a Dragon. And then you have the Judgment, which is a spin-off. I know they are talking about making a new Yakuza game. So that will be definitely interesting to uh, see. You have two characters to play. You have Goro Majima and Kazuma Kiryu. And you get to play as them and they're, when they're the early days of being in the Yakuza. And they're both in their early 20s. And you get to see them before they become legends as they are further along in the series. And you get to see their backstory and stuff. It has a really good uh, story. A lot of great uh, side missions to do. Things to collect. People to interact with. All kinds of cool arcade games to play. Um, mini games like golf and pool and bowling. You know, just all kinds of cool stuff for you to find and enjoying this game and it's just really cool definitely recommend you check it out and then also i talked about metro last light which is part of the metro redux uh, bundle you get metro 2033 with this great first person shooters a very dark and has an eerie setting to it you fight mutant creatures but you also fight um other enemies you've got nazis in the game you've got the soviet reds in the game and then you've got your normal people and you've got bandits and stuff and it is overall a really enjoyable story i definitely think you guys should check out so let me know your guys opinion if you played yakuza zero or if you played the metro uh, redux uh, collection let me know your guys thoughts on those of course i want to hear what games you guys are playing and if you have any recommendations at all for games you think i should check out let me know because you guys always do recommend really good titles Again, thank you guys so much for checking out my videos. I really appreciate all your guys' support. Take care, have a wonderful day, and sleepy. We'll see you guys next time.